I turn it on and forward, you can see the spindle is turning clockwise from there. So that is a run, and see it's turning uh, whatever. It looks like it's going the opposite direction in the camera, but it is turning normal. Uh, engage the power feed, and now we're going to cut away from the spindle. That's about as smooth a fly cut as I can handle right now. So something along those lines. This is the path on which the gear has to ride on. Cut out for one pulley, cut out for um, the spindle itself. Um, I guess there's another pulley on there. So yeah, something along those lines. So bolts here and here to hold it. This be cut out something like this so that gears got something to ride on here. So that's down flush so when the gear is sitting here it doesn't hit that screw so we'll uh, figure out what we're gonna do to attach the bolt through here um, probably like a t-nut like is on the existing one on the mill right now and then uh, yeah we'll screw one of the gears in place and see what it does all right, so you can see I got one bolt in and uh, leveled out. So I'll put a transfer punch in here and smack that with a hammer and then drill that one out. So I don't know if you can see, I barely have room to put that drill through there. And it may even be angled a bit this way. But uh, anyway, I was able to use some longer drill bits to start it. This one's just long enough to get it. But now I can go around the other side and actually tap it from here. So you see that hole already tapped. We'll tap that one now. Plate, put that plate in. So I'm hoping this is going to be easy to do this. Let's see. Here she is. Okay, well we got it together. At least the... Uh, the nut in the back there so now I gotta make a uh, piece to fit the gear so the gear can fit on there and turn so yeah, we'll do some uh, brass or bronze or whatever with a little washer on the end so these aren't anything great I mean they are what they are this one's this one's pretty plain too so nothing crazy but uh, we'll make it happen <laughs> Okay, so we got the brass standoff, put a little bit of grease on that guy, and put it on the gear, put the gear on it I guess. See if we get any grease up in there, maybe. Okay, cool. So that sticks out just a little bit proud of it. So when that's sitting down on here, 
there'll be just enough room for it to spin on there without touching. And then uh, I've got this, I don't know what the hell they call them. I guess it's like a T-nut, but not really. There's no T to it. But that will go in the back here and slide back and forth with the gear. So wherever it's mounted, we should be good. I think I thought it fit together one way better than the other. Nope, looks about the same, so. All right, so we take the gear, set it on there. Got the same screw that holds the other gears in place. So uh, we're not using different tools inside the cabinet whenever we are working on it. That'll be nice. So, yep, so a little bit of back and forth there, so when it's mounted in there, we'll see it, uh, it'll work a little better, but, um, yeah, that'll be nice. So it goes over just far enough to engage with the main gear, I guess that's on the spindle, and then comes back out of the way, so the other gear can come up and engage the spindle, so... Put one gear in between, automatic reverse. So, yeah, I think that'll work nicely. We'll put it all together and see how uh, how it goes. All right, so this block is in now. So if we loosen up that just a little bit, that'll slide out of the way. Loosen that up a little bit, run it over to that gear, tighten it back up. Run that back up to that gear, tighten it back up. I know, it's not a quick change. But now, everything turns opposite direction. So if we want to uh, power feed away from the chuck with a right hand turn, everything uh, will go as we want it to. So this gear drives this one, drives this one, drives the lead screw. If I turn it on and forward, you can see the spindle is turning clockwise from there. So that is a run, and see it's turning. Uh, it looks like it's going the opposite direction in the camera, but it is turning normal. Uh, engage a power feed, and now we're going to cut away from the spindle. Not something you're going to use a lot, but on those rare occasions you do, it'll be real nice. And uh, just because I set it up with that one in there, I realized uh, out of all of them, that is the only one I have that is a cut right, I guess you call those. Uh, but, yeah, again, it's not something you're going to use a lot, but when you have a lathe that's uh, got limited functionality, you know, you, you do with it what you can. And, uh, you know, just like everything else, if you don't have the right tool and you can't afford it, you don't have room to put it, uh, make something. Make it work better. Modify it a little bit. Uh, anything you can do to make uh, these hours out in the shop more enjoyable, more better. Be nice. Uh, there's sometimes that you know you're you're uh, running something and you just want to be able to power feed with a, with a left hand cut. Um, or is that a right hand cut? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, you want it to feed away from the chuck and cut. So now we can. I like having options. Uh, that was one I kind of thought should have been in this deal to begin with even though it's a little clunky anyway with the change gears and all that stuff uh, it still gives you a lot of options I guess so this guy's barely out of the way but it does spin free um, and there's another smaller gear that fits here pretty good too so in case I have to take this one out this is the biggest gear so it's barely out of the way right now the other one's a small smaller gear that I put in there so I think we're good. Um, again, we don't use it very often, so we'll uh, we'll have to see how well it works when we actually need it, and if it's too much of a pain in the ass to switch things around. I don't think it will be. Uh, these having to change all these gears, all three, to do something different that is a pain. But to just do that with this not having to adjust anything here, just drop that one out, slide that over. Uh, on the times you want to be able to power feed, I think it'll be worth it. So, fun little project. Didn't take too long. I don't know uh, 
how many guys have a similar lathe out here, but uh, yeah, I recommend it. Um, anything to make uh, your days in the shop and your hours out here uh, more productive and more enjoyable. So get out and make something.